Essentially the role of a manager is to develop goals with an artist and then execute those goals by coordinating the correct team of people to work with you and making sure that each member of that team is doing their job correctly for the ultimate goal of the artist. You develop goals with an artist by finding out what they want to achieve and uh, if there's any stipulations or special concerns of an artist in how they achieve those goals. Essentially you are trying to look forward to the different stages of an artist's career and set immediate goals and long-term goals and execute the details necessary to get to each stage of that artist's career. Essentially there is no typical day for a manager because the task can vary so greatly depending on what's going on in an artist's career at any given time. Uh, one day I may be in New York visiting with the label and coordinating the people at the label that are working on an artist's project. Another day I may be on the road with the band, uh, meeting with promoters and paying attention to the development of the band themselves. Um, and quite a few days I'm in the office on the phone and uh, emailing and essentially uh, you know, trying to develop the plan for the artist. First and foremost, a uh, manager is drawn to the talent of an artist and you ultimately have to believe in the talent of an artist to believe that they could be successful. Um, you're also drawn to artists who are intelligent and understand what it takes to develop their career. And uh, you know, if you think an artist is going to be an easy person to work with, that certainly would draw you further into working with them. Uh, certain artists are very talented and you may believe that they are not going to be quite as easy to work with or that they might uh, prove difficult in some areas, but you might weigh that against the level of talent and if you believe enough in them and you feel like you can work with them uh, to get them to a point where they understand the things that they need to do and how things need to be done if they're ultimately going to be successful. Typically, managers are looking for artists, going out to hear bands, talking to their friends, and hearing about an artist and may actually, an artist may be approached by a manager. Um, if an artist is not being approached by managers, uh, you know, proactively, they can send out packages and work through any connections possible to get a CD, a press package, in the hands of a manager. The hard part is, is that most managers, when they get packages, uh, they're typically uh, you know, overrun by the number of packages they're getting and they're not going to pay specific attention to a package that just shows up in the mail. Um, that's why it's best if, a, if you can find any kind of contact, friend, someone that can hand deliver a CD or package to a manager. I know that if I have someone that I respect musically that uh, hands me a package and says, listen to this artist, I think that they uh, have a lot of talent, then I will pay special attention and listen to that artist and uh, you know, give it special consideration. Whereas if one just shows up in the mail, typically I would not. Um, it's, it's a difficult process for, for a band, especially at the early stages, to get managers to pay attention. And essentially I think they, an artist just has to think about any connections they have, any people they know, and anyone that they could get to hand deliver packages to managers and uh, then follow up with phone calls and you know be be persistent without going over the line and being annoying but uh, certainly persistence pays off in, in every area so uh, that could help greatly. This really depends on your relationship with a given artist. Um, some, some managers choose to stay completely out of all creative decisions or affairs and certainly that's fine that that doesn't have to be the role of a manager certain managers are very involved in the creative process and uh, artists look to them for their opinion and as with everything involving your relationship with an artist it's a developing process of finding where that artist needs help and where the artist wants your help 
And so if, uh, you know, if I find that an artist is looking for some creative input, then I'll certainly be there to offer my advice and, uh, you know, give that advice in such a way that they know that they can take that advice if they'd like to use it or they can listen to other people as well. But I certainly try and wait until an artist asks me for creative advice before I offer that kind of advice because it can be a uh, you know a tricky situation and certain artists don't want creative advice and I, I think that's fine essentially again it just comes down to your relationship with any given artist and 